All right, welcome back. So now that we managed to actually save some data in here, uh, a few things need to be cleaned up. Now, the first thing is we still have that data in the session. So we need to clean the session up once we finish. We need to empty the card once the user has finished. But before that, I also want us to do some data verification here because people can just type whatever they want and then it will still agree so it has to verify the data before we can do anything here okay so in this case when i click uh, pay <coughs> it does a post but then it doesn't check to see oh maybe it does does it okay so it does check to see if the items are filled in which is good but it doesn't verify the data is correct so the parts that need verification for example will be maybe the phone number and what else we also need to check if any of them are actually empty or not and if for example you have the postal code the postal code depending on where you live sometimes it's just all numbers Sometimes the zip code has letters in there. So maybe looking at whatever you are expecting there, it should be correct. But the most important here is the country and the state. Now, we don't want somebody to just leave country as it is because here it will still supply uh, information. So I'm going to do both of these, this one and this one. And then depending on the uh, content that you're going to have on your system, you can extend that to do these others as well. Because the problem here is there's no fixed kind of data that we need because the address can have any kind of data here, symbols, spaces, letters, and so on. So it's free for all. Uh, the phone number, maybe we can check to make sure that it's numeric. But then country, at least we can check to make sure that it's not this default value here. So how exactly do we display errors? Okay, so let's see how we can do that, how we can verify the data. So here I'm going to leave <coughs> the die here for a second so that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't proceed Actually, instead of die, I'm just going to say return. That's much better. Okay, so that we don't actually save anything. Now, to do this, we have to put a public... Uh, I'm going to use a public uh, variable here. I'm going to say public error. Like that is equal to... We are setting it to an empty array, like that, okay? So every time we find an error, we just uh, push it in there, and we are good. Okay. Uh, yes. Or, instead what we will do to avoid uh, issues of access, let's set this uh, to to a session instead. Wait a minute, error. No, actually this will work just fine. Because at this point here, when we come down here, when we say save orders, we still have this instance here, which we can use to shove the errors into something else. So this is fine, just fine. So what I'm going to do now is loop through all the values from the post. So I will say for each post, like so, then it's going to be key and value. So the key and value are important in this case, so I'll leave them be. The key is the way we're going to know what data we are talking about. So for example, if I want to target the country specifically so i'm going to inspect the element here just to see what the name is it's country of course 
and this one is obviously state right there state country okay so those are the two i'm looking for so i will say something like if he be equal to country then i expect something okay so i expect uh if key is equal to country and then let's put another if statement and say if value now we're checking the value to make sure it's valid now if va a value is uh, equal to empty okay if it's empty or value is equal to and what current value do we have here when nobody has added anything at the moment that's country so i'll click here just so i can get it or oh, that state this is country so i'll copy the inner uh, copy inner html yes which i will paste here inside my quotes like so so if it's equal to that then they haven't actually added anything so if that is the case then we're going to add to error here now to add to error we simply do that you to add to the last position or you can use array push that's entire, entirely up to you it's a function that adds items to an array but i simply do it this way so like that i will say error is equal to please enter a valid country like i saw okay so this is what you do for all of them yeah all of them should be like this and then just to make sure that we don't waste our time uh wait that's what total is this okay so that's some other total for this part okay so here where we are going into save we have to make sure that this error is empty before we can do anything that no errors were found so if that is an array and that will say count how many items are in there if that is equal to zero so if there are no items in the error then we know that we are good to go that's when we go this way otherwise we just ignore everything and don't do any saving at all okay so now the important part is to remember to put the keyword this here because we're inside a class so same goes for this part here this arrow like so okay so now that we have that this is exactly what you do for everything so if key is equal to something yeah so state for example uh state like that valid state okay good and then let me copy the inner html for state just to be sure so say copy inner html and paste it right here because i know this is the default so so if value is equal to empty or it's that then please enter a valid state okay so let's see how we can uh, check on these babies down there if none of them are empty so on the checkout here we're going to say uh, save order right and then you know that data contains everything we need so what i will do here i will say uh, data errors is equal to order error like that okay which is this right there maybe i should have put an s there just so it makes more sense like that and here as well 
and let's come back here and do the same errors yeah just like that order errors and then now we can go to our view and check for those errors so the view here is in the checkout.php mm -hmm. and we set rows so this has to show right at the top here so i'm going to ask the question if oops so we're going to check if it is set if is set okay so this is not php we have to put our php tags and close them there so i'm going to say if is set uh errors like that because we've uh, extracted it and errors is greater than zero the count of these errors so let's come back and say count errors is greater than zero if both of these things are true then i just want to print readable the errors themselves for now i don't want to add any styling i just want to print readable to see what's going on so here i will just uh, refresh the page and you see that uh, nothing is showing but if i type some things here and there and there and there and there and then let's say hit pay you see that now we have some errors and it's saying please enter valid country and the second one is saying please enter valid state okay so it's actually working here the only thing now is let's do some proper styling here so that the errors look more presentable than this and we'll do that in the next video